Good morning dear friends and greetings to all of you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is a very new day and we thank God for the opportunity we have to listen to the voice of God before we begin our activities today that we may be blessed and led by the Holy Spirit. And today our meditation is taken from the book of Joel. Joel is an Old Testament prophet and I am going to read from chapter 3 verses 14 to 17. <clears throat> Now this passage talks about the last days, the day of the Lord and uh, uh, what it's going to be like. <clears throat> Let me <clears throat> read it for you. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. The sun and moon will grow dark and the stars will diminish their brightness. The Lord also will roar from Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and earth will shake, but the Lord will be a shelter for his people and the strength of the children of Israel. Now, the day of decision, this passage talks about the day of decision uh, in, the, uh, in, in the valley of decision. Now, the day of decision, there are just, just uh, two things to mention, two, three things we have mentioned concerning the day of decision. The day of decision, according to this passage, shall be a day of darkness. The lights of heaven shall be darkened, or these lights shall dwindle before the brightness of the glory of the judge. And all of us know who the judge is going to be. The Lord God Almighty. Just as the, the stars pale and disappear in the presence of, of the sun when uh, the sun rises in splendor, so shall the stars in the skies will be darkened in the presence of the glory of the Lord God Almighty. And so that is the meaning here. And uh, the second thing to note is the day of the Lord shall be a day of dreadfulness. Dreadful sounds and dreadful sights. Like uh, the like the like the the, uh, the sun and moon will grow dark and the stars will diminish their brightness. <clears throat> as the Lord also will roar from Zion uh, and utter his voice from Jerusalem. The heavens and earth will shake, but the Lord will be a shelter for his people. And here is a very dreadful uh, uh, sight. Now, why is it so? The day of the Lord is Uh, a reference to the last days when the Lord God Almighty shall judge the wicked and judge the nations. And that is when all these things in his uh, uh, coming uh, uh, before he set up his own kingdom. And so There is, there is a distinction between God's people and others. And it says here, the, 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 the Lord also will roar in Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem. The heavens and earth will shake, but the Lord will be a shelter for his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So here is um, uh, what is going to happen. Now, which group you and I want to be? It is our choice. 
is are, are we those who are going to be in the group that will really be shaken and uh, filled with fear as the judgment of god shall fall upon them but to the lord himself who will protect those who love him and those who follow him that is the distinction so which group you want to be that's your choice and that's why it is important for us to be vigorous in evangelizing and bringing more people as many people as possible into the shelter of the church and i my friends the church is the only safe place to be when the judgment of god shall begin to fall upon this earth now and the second thought is it shall be a day of dreadfulness uh, as uh, dreadful sounds and dreadful sights and that day shall be a day of desolateness the heavens and earth shall shake and you know what happen when earth shakes there will be terrible terrible happenings destruction and uh, and and removal of uh, so many things that we depend on when the earth shake and when the heaven also join with the earth and begin to shake then you can imagine the terribleness of the the, the lord's wrath that is coming upon a god rejecting people and a nation and so that is the that is the first point that uh, i want you to remember and the second thing is but while the day of decision shall be a day of darkness for many 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 people but that day shall be a day of hope for the just the just are those who are justified by the blood of jesus christ and made us acceptable into the presence of the holy god through his son jesus christ and so one or two things because he is the hope of his people who the lord god himself will be the hope he comforts them god is the ground and founder of his people's hope and this is wonderful to realize that jesus christ the lord of the church is the only divine or divinity that has given the people of the earth a hope and that hope is while the wicked and the god rejecting nations and people shall be in darkness and perish and it, and, and and go into that place of darkness and unquenchable fire etc the people who loved the lord and believed in his word shall be protected he shall be the he shall be the hope of his people now therefore our ground and hope the ground and uh, the rock of our hope is the lord jesus christ and so believe and trust in him he is their harbor of refuge and their fortress of a safety who the lord god almighty and the second thing in he is the happiness of his people he is the hope of his people he is also the happiness of his people and he is the source of the fountain of happiness and joy as the psalmist says in his presence there is fullness of joy and so lord people of god let us always draw closer to him wherever there whenever there is opportunity to gather together let us come together 
and let us uh, honor the temple of god the sanctuary of god where we the church comes together to worship and glorify him and uh, lastly he is the holiness of his people so the lord god almighty the lord jesus christ is the is the is the is the hope of his people he is the happiness of his people he is also the holiness of his people and therefore it is necessary that we live in god because without holiness we cannot see god and we are meant to see god the church but if anybody is not living a holy life he or she cannot and so make sure that we grow in our holiness in these last days time is short jesus christ is coming and who he is our hope our happiness and our holiness and thus we shall be with him forever and ever in eternity god bless you as the holy spirit leads you and helps you amen thank you jesus for enabling us to live according to your will and to cherish the hope that you have given us the hope of forgiveness hope of salvation and hope of eternal life with you and uh, thank you you also are our holiness and because of you we are enabled to see god almighty in you through you because of you so we love you in jesus name amen god bless you